Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to show you how to add an asset purchased with a loan. So let's make it simple and just imagine that we bought a company vehicle. What we know in real life is that um, we gained a vehicle and we have a loan to buy the vehicle. So to take care of setting this up, I'm just going to start with the chart of accounts. So I'm going to go to accounting and then chart of accounts. In the upper right hand corner, I'm going to select new. And then I'm going to start with the asset because I think it's more interesting than the loan. So save under. My, uh, my vehicle, my imaginary vehicle, it is a fixed asset. The difference between a fixed asset and another current is how quickly it'll be used up. Um, I feel like my imaginary vehicle will be a vehicle I have for a very long time. So I'm going to make it a fixed asset. For tax form selection, I usually don't pick anything, but let's go ahead and find vehicles. Um, and then since I have no business getting a business vehicle, my business vehicle is going to be a Corvette. Um, so uh, let's call it a 20, you know what? We're going to get fancy. It's a 2023 Corvette. This is all I'm doing. I'm not adding any additional information at all whatsoever. I'm just going to say save at this point. In order to buy my imaginary Corvette, I need to go in and add my loan, or I needed to take out a loan, so I need to add my loan in QuickBooks. In the upper right hand corner where it says new, I'm going to click on new, and then I'm going to go to liability, save account under, it's not going to be paid off in a year. Um, so I'm going to say long term liability, tax form selection, no, it's payable. Uh, let's call it Corvette. Uh, Corvette loan. Maybe I would put something different. Maybe I would put in the name of the bank and the last four of my loan number. For this, I just want to explain the concepts and you can go back and make your account names make sense for you. So I'm just going to say Corvette loan. Hey, I'm not entering anything else in here. Then I click save in the lower right hand corner. So now on my chart of accounts, I have a Corvette asset and I have a Corvette loan. But the thing is, I don't have any numbers to go with any of it. So now I'm going to go ahead and make an entry. I can definitely make a journal entry. I'm going to show you how to do this um, slightly differently than making a journal entry because I, I want to talk through the things you might think about if you don't automatically see T accounts in your head. So I'm, I'm at my chart of accounts and I come down here and I'm like, okay, this is my 2023 Corvette. It's an asset. Fantastic. I'm going to go to view register. My register is going to be completely empty because I've done nothing with it. I'm going to click on add journal entry, but what I like about doing it here instead of going to here is that it feels a little bit less intimidating. So where did I buy this Corvette from? Um, Corvette Superstore. We will pretend that there is a magical place called Corvette Superstore that I bought my Corvette from. And we'll go over here and I, I know that I'm in the asset register, the asset being the thing that I own, not my loan. I know that my balance of my Corvette is zero dollars. I actually have no idea how much a Corvette will cost. So since we're in the land of make-believe, my Corvette costs $10,000. So I'm going to increase the, the asset, the purchase price of my Corvette by $10,000. Now the question is, how did I pay for it? Well, I paid for it with my Corvette loan. I didn't have the cash to go write a check for it. So I'm just going to type Corvette loan. If I didn't know that it was Corvette loan, if I couldn't remember what I had picked, I could click the drop down and search for the appropriate name. Let me click on save. So now when I look at this, I can see my Corvette has an asset balance of $10,000. I 
I have a journal entry here. If I click on this and I click on edit, you'll see the this with the debits and credits. You could have 100% gone straight to the journal entry and done all this from this screen. I feel like if you know your debits and credits and you know how to enter your Corvette and your Corvette loan, you probably wouldn't have come to me for help. So I tried to show you a slightly different way of getting there, a way that hopefully makes more sense and feels less intimidating. However you get there, no problem, no judgment, no big deal. If I click on this drop down, I can show you the Corvette loan. So my Corvette loan, I've increased my loan. My loan balance is $10,000. And then if I look at my reports and specifically my balance sheet, all right, so when I'm looking at my balance sheet, I can see in my assets, I have a Corvette. If I scroll further down, I will see that I have a Corvette loan. As I start to pay the loan back, my asset will remain the same and my loan balance will go down. I realize that sometimes there is more to it than this. Maybe you put down a deposit up front, maybe there's interest and fees and this and that and the other. That's fantastic. I just wanted to give you a very, very brief explanation of how to add to your books, um, a, like a company equipment purchase. So maybe it's a Corvette, maybe it's a piece of big machinery, whatever it is, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If my team or I can do anything to help you, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can find us at gentlefrog.com. Thank you.